And now, Storm Tracker weather with meteorologist Michael Ottovino. A very good morning to everyone and happy Thursday. This is meteorologist Michael Ottavino. Here with your morning forecast, there is a winter weather advisory in effect for parts of the highlands in western Wyoming, for Jackson and West Yellowstone. And the reason for that is because there could be um, areas seeing between 5 to 12 inches of snow, with even parts of Yellowstone seeing up to about 20 inches of snow. So for travelers, um, people who want to go skiing, this is great. This is great news for you guys. And the weather is going to continue into the weekend. There could even get some more snow. So even more significant accumulations. Right now for temperatures across the state of Idaho, 45 right now in Pocatello, 40 degrees in Idaho Falls, 30 in Jackson, 23 degrees in West Yellowstone. And as we take a look at the satellite and radar, lots of clouds are in, on, in the sky across most of Idaho. Even some showers right across Blackfoot and even into Idaho Falls. Those are going to be scattered throughout this morning, but those will quickly taper off as we move throughout the rest of the day today. We're going to see more so clouds today than we will see any precipitation across the Snake River Plain. I'll time that out right here on the Future Tracker. We see a scattered rain snow mix across the Central Mountains today. Lots of clouds across the Snake River Plain and even across the highlands in western Wyoming. Your area will see a rain snow mix for today. And even as we move into the overnight hours, that's when we could see this the this but the rain starts to move in to the Pocatello area, and that's going to be pretty significant for the morning commute tomorrow. So definitely looking ahead for tomorrow, plan ahead for some extra travel time because the rain looks like it'll be rather moderate to start the day. For today, though, across the Snake River, River Plain, mostly cloudy skies, a high temperature of 59 degrees in Pocatello, 54 in Idaho Falls, 52 in Rexburg, 51 in St. Anthony, and across the Central Mountains, there is a rain-snow mix in the forecast for your area today with temperatures in the upper 40s lower 50s. For the highlands in western Wyoming, the rain snow mix continues for your area as well with a high temperature of 45 in Jackson, 51 in Afton, 41 in Island Park. Even for this evening, that rain snow mix is going to continue. And notice those temperatures hovering right around freezing in some areas. That's why the rain snow mix is in the forecast for your area. And for the Central Mountains, the rain snow mix continues for your area as well. But for the Snake River Plain, it's going to be more of a shower threat, primarily during the second half of the overnight right around 3 to 4 a.m. That's when the rain's going to start to move in from the south, and it's going to be um, pretty hazardous for the morning commute tomorrow. As we take a look at those temperatures, 45 for your low this evening in Pocatello and 40 degrees for your low this evening in Idaho Falls. Looking at the seven-day forecast, mostly cloudy skies today, leading us to have some rain tomorrow, maybe even a rain snow mix for Saturday. And it will be a bit breezy out there, not much in terms of winds as strong as they were yesterday. For Sunday, partly cloudy skies, and that cloud goes back an hour at night, so you guys get an extra hour of sleep. Looking for Idaho Falls, 54 today, 47 tomorrow. The rain threat starts to build in and there will also be a rain snow mix on Saturday. For the Teton area, Jackson, Afton, and Driggs, a high temperature of 45 today, 41 tomorrow, a consistent rain snow mix is in the forecast, all rain for the week, all snow rather for the weekend, and for the Central Mountains, Salmon Chalice and Mackey, a high temperature of 49 today, 47 tomorrow with a rain snow mix still in the forecast. Con